Make way for the double champ. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WCW Heavyweight Championship. Making his way to the ring, representing the Alliance from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 178 pounds. Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. You talk about standing at the top of the mountain. This guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. Make way for the double champ. And representing the Wolfpack, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 244 pounds, Theodore. Imagine all the hard work, the training, and the perseverance it takes to win a title in WWE. Now double it, and you can see the magnitude of this man's accomplishment. In WWE, the only thing more difficult than becoming champion is staying champion. And his journey was twice as hard, but the work from here is double too. But if anyone is up to the challenge, it's this guy. The double champ showing off all of his hardware. Arrogance and confidence on the double champ's face, but he's obviously earned it. The title collector is here. And representing the Assassins from New York, Weighing in yeah, at 220 pounds, the Superstar. Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. The double champ showing off all of his hardware. Arrogance and confidence on the double champ's face, but he's obviously earned it. The title collector is here. And representing the Alliance from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 163 pounds, the Dragon Ball. Imagine all the hard work, the training, and the perseverance it takes to win a title in WWE. Now double it, and you can see the magnitude of this man's accomplishment. In WWE, the only thing more difficult than becoming champion is staying champion. And his journey was twice as hard, but the work from here is double too. But if anyone is up to the challenge, it's this guy.
You talk about standing at the top of the mountain. This guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. The title collector is here. And from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 215 pounds, Kid Rock. Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. The double champ showing off all of his hardware. Arrogance and confidence on the double champ's face, but he's obviously earned it. <laughs> the title collector is here. And representing the Brawling Brutes from the United States of America, weighing in at 240 pounds, the Ninja Leonardo. Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. The double champ showing off all of his hardware. Arrogance and confidence on the double champ's face, but he's obviously earned it. I thought he only had one. Watching this no DQ match, I can't help but think of all the great no disqualification matches we've seen in WWE over the years. No doubt, Michael. Triple H versus Brian Lesnar in 2013. The Rock versus Mankind in 1999, both classics. But the all-time best has got to be Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 26. Yeah, I hate to disagree with you, Corey, but Stone Cold Steve Austin against The Rock at WrestleMania 17 was the greatest no qualification match of all time. In fact, it might even be the greatest match in WWE history. Let's just agree that all of those matches are great. Now,
He has been here before, and he knows what he needs to do. Gets him with the counter. Reversal! What a counter! Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper-extend your elbow. I had that well scouted. Double chicken wing. Up and oh, a stop right to the hand. Oh, this is just too far. Gets him with the troll in there. Oh, it is aggression. Just pure brutality. Oh, easy. And he's able to count. should hope to emulate.